Maniacs, welcome back to the channel, doing another reaction for another fan film, and this is for Never Hike Alone 2, a Friday the 13th fan film. Now, I really loved the first Never Hike Alone. I really enjoyed Never Hike in the Snow, which I also did help out with, and I did donate to this Indiegogo. I'm pretty positive I did. They even got the original actor, Tom Matthews, who played Tommy Jarvis in part six of Friday the 13th and the Friday the 13th video game from 2017 to come back and actually play Tommy Jarvis in these fan films, which is just adds another layer of just badassery so we're gonna go ahead and dive into this guys hit the like button subscribe to the channel please go support the original video by going down to the link in the description and giving them a lot of love and let's go ahead and dive into this and i'll give you guys my thoughts during and after the video and i will be pausing it by the way when i'm ready to talk so just keep that in mind here we go Bomb Stomp Films proudly presents I'm so fucking pumped. Looks beautiful, man. The shots are awesome. Twenty bucks says it's Tom Matthews. Oh, wait. No shit. What did I tell you about coming out here alone? No shit. I just wanted to go fishing. Oh, my gosh. Okay, obviously, this kid is supposed to look exactly like a young Tommy Jarvis from Part 4. He looks spot on. That's awesome. Okay, but... Is that his it's son? It's not safe for you to be out here by yourself. I know. I'm sorry. Okay. Just, uh, you know, let me know next time. Okay? Okay. I promise. Okay, good. Is it because of Jason? Where did you hear that name? The kids at school. They said he drowned in the lake. And that he's still down there. Waiting for what? To pull me down with him. No. Oh. Guys. of a opening there, man. Fuck that. Jason is alive. We dug up his body. I'm sorry you didn't listen to me. Take a nap, Junior. He killed my friend. Now he's going to No! Yes!
very much like a Jamie Lee Curtis, Laurie Strode kind of thing where he's just tormented by this fucking guy, right? I mean, years after the situation, he still just every day thinks about him being at the bottom of the lake and trying to pull whoever down. Pretty, pretty unfortunate and scary shit, yeah. Pretty scary. I couldn't imagine. Such a, what a dope, like, I have to, like, give credit where credit's due, what a dope title for a Friday the 13th fan film. It just, it's so cool, Never Hike Alone, what a genius, genius title drop. I love that. Tom Matthews. Walks out with a pump action shotgun. He's ready for business, let me tell you. I, I swear to God, dude, these guys, these guys, the guy, uh, Wamstomp Films, I, I'm almost shocked that nobody from, like, the exact, actual, you know, Friday the 13th executives or anybody wanted not to get a hold of these guys. I mean, these guys could probably deliver an awesome Camp Crystal Lake series or an awesome just movie. I, like, a, give them an actual big budget, give them the actual, you know, opportunity to make something with this franchise, even knowing this is almost perfect enough, and just let them have a shot at it. Like, maybe, I don't know, remake Never Hike Alone, and then go have it, like, be a theater release or something. I I'm serious, these guys nailed it. They did so good. I know that feeling. All them trees thinking someone's out there watching you somewhere. Oh yeah.
Is that cologne? Sheriff? What did I tell you about coming up here, Jarvis? Yeah, yeah, I was just leaving. Jesus Christ. You see that sign? It says to stay the fuck out. Why is that so hard? I know what you're doing up here. I know what you're doing. Living in the past, stirring up ghosts. There's nothing up here for you, Jarvis. It's time to move on. Is that what you told your deputy's wife? You son of a bitch. She's still out here, Sheriff, and you know it. Then tell me something, wise guy. How come every time I come up here, the only thing I find is you? Is you. If you think I'm up to something, Sheriff, then why don't you go check out the camp for yourself? Unless you know, you're too much of a chicken chick. Asshole. No, he's gonna get back in his car. He's not going out there to look. Fuck that. I certainly wouldn't. Hell no. All right. Trail junkie tip of the week. Wilderness finds are really expensive, so avoid them all costs. <laughs> Pun intended. Oh, man, and those guys look pissed. <laughs> they sounded pissed, think, you kidding me? I think I'm just gonna stick closer to the lake. So I'll check in with you guys soon. Kyle. Oh, shit. Sorry, guys. Oh. Right, well, That's a dirty-ass camera. You guys soon. Kyle out. Dr. Hill? What? What? Uh. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Um, what are you doing here? I work here. No, I know. I, I, yeah, uh, I thought you were taking time off. I was. Um, it's my first day back. Oh, well, then, welcome back. Thank you. I'm assuming she lost somebody. I feel like I... I speaking of, I, sh I should probably get inside. <laughs> see you around, dummy. Yeah, I'll see you. Take care. Hey, Tommy Salami. Axel. Danny, what's with the books? <sighs> Cram Axel. for nursing exam Monday. Huh. Would you mind if we post up inside today? Axel's gonna help me study. Yeah, no problem. Just keep your walkies on in case we get a call. Of course. You got it. Okay. Thanks, Tommy. Yeah. Good luck with the studying. Ah, uh, I'm gonna need it. Relax. You're gonna do just fine, doll. Please don't call me that. Sorry, I'm working on it. They're not I'm studying. Sure. Yeah. Code word for let's screw. Now. Yeah. That's the kid from uh, Never Hike in the Snow, right? Am I mistaken? I really feel like that's the kid from Never Hike in the Snow. And I feel like, was that, wasn't that the mom from Never Hike in the Snow. I could be wrong. It's been a little bit since I've watched that movie. I, I, I haven't seen that video since like the like when it came out, I think back in 2021. So it's been a little bit, but I'm positive. I think that's who that was. That's why I was kind of having like one of those mind moments right there. Huh. 
Come in. Hey, Chief, I'm about to head out for the night. Do you need anything? No, I'm good. Thanks for checking in. Good night, Deputy. You working on something? Good night, Deputy. Good night, Sheriff. Mind your own gosh dang business. How about that? If you know what was good for you. See, in a sense, he's kind of like Jarvis. He almost can't let this this whole situation go either. You know, he's doing his research on Jarvis, and J Jarvis is doing his research on Jason. Be kind of cool if they teamed up towards the end to try to get the shit done. Gino, I'm cold. Gino, hmm? cold. Let's just wrap your arms around me. I can use my body heat to keep you warm. Oh, I'm gonna be the little spoon. Oh, yeah? Is that better? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not really a spoon, but, you know. What's that? <laughs> Probably just a rabbit or something. That's what they all say. And then that rabbit comes in swinging a fucking hatchet. It's not a fucking rabbit. Jason has to be the biggest cock blocker ever to exist. Oh. What is it? It's a dude. Hmm. Is he okay? Uh. uh I don't no. Know. He might be drunk. Just stay here. I'm gonna go <laughs> check it out. Hey, man. You okay, man? Whoa, 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 whoa. You all right? No! I'm stabbed! Where am I? Don't you get it? Uh, forest. You have to get out of here. Well, wait, why? Where, where are you going? What the hell? Yeah, yeah, there he is. Is everything okay? No, we gotta run. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, everything's fine. Oh, you fool. You know, he's probably just lost. Do you know what was that? Do you know? I swear to God, if you're trying to scare me right now, I'm gonna punch you in the balls. I think anybody would prefer that compared to what he just got. You know, what What did I tell you about the jelly? Yeah. You'd think I'd learn my lesson by now. That's right. a shit ton of jelly, too. It wasn't oh, even a small um, amount. Dr. Hill, welcome back. Can I, can I get you anything? Is the coffee maker broken? Yeah. But um, we were supposedly going to get a new one on Monday. This is fresh, though, because Justin picked it up on the way in today. Oh, thanks, Justin. Oh, no problem. Um, Dr. Hill... I, I just wanted to say that if you needed anything at all, please, please, please don't hesitate to ask, because we are all here for you. I appreciate it. Coffee's fine for now. For a patient with Crohn's disease, the surgical medical nurse recommends a diet that is... Um, low in fiber, high in protein and calories. That's right. See, Mom? I knew you nailed this. Yeah. 
wasted coffee. Oh my god. Are you okay? You need this? Really? What? Are you okay? <laughs> no, not really. Come on down, talk Look, about it. I wanted to tell you. Um, it's a shame what happened to your son. You seem like a really good kid. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's what everyone keeps telling me. There's one thing they don't realize. What's that? My son is still alive. I know. Oh, no. It's crazy to me, too. Um, I, I remember never hiking in the snow a little bit. And the last thing I remember is that kid was not fine. Um, I don't think he's still alive. That's unfortunate. The denial of it all. And it's clearly, ah, oh, fuck, that sucks. That is so awkward. First time I heard it. I know my son is dead. Oh. But he didn't die. He went missing. He's still out there somewhere, and until they find him, the state won't recognize he's dead for another seven years. I... I don't know what to do with that. I didn't realize. I'm sorry. Oh, I should have dumped all that on you anyway. No, it's... it's okay. I get it. Uh, to tell you the truth, I'm surprised you came back at all. I've thought about leaving. I think about it all the time. I just can't bring myself to do it. I feel like I'd be leaving him behind. Yeah, I know the feeling. Woodbridge County Dispatch requesting ambulance transport. You should get that. <laughs> yeah, Dr. Hill, look, if there's anything, anything you need, anything at all, just, just let me know. So they keep telling me. Well, what else can you say to somebody? What else, right? But yeah, at least Tommy, at least he can relate. You know, that's the thing sometimes, where you really try to help someone out, but at the end of the day, you won't know their pain. You can't understand what they're going through. Even knowing you might say you do, you truly don't unless you've gone through something similar. And Tommy Jarvis, out of all the people here so far, is probably the only one who actually understands what it's like to lose somebody to that situation, right? Dispatch, this is Rescue 26. What do you got? Hey, 26. Cramp Crystal Lake. A hike for you. Ranger service reported an injured hiker way out on Cunningham Road. You're requesting pickup at mile Cunningham, nice. And then, let me guess. It's the events at the very end of Never Hike Alone. Sure. I'm just running over, laying on the road like this. Uh, hey, uh, did you happen to see anyone else out here? No. Why? I don't know. It seemed odd to have someone out here all alone like this by themselves. <laughs> it was more than you think. Guy watches one episode of Survivor Man. Next thing you know, he's out here, all lone wolf. Only this time, he's a big bag of shit and leaves it up to us to save his ass. I see. Well, I guess we'll take it from here then. Thanks. You're welcome. Have a good night. You too. Oh, man. 
Didn't sound like it a second ago. It's all good, Tom. Excellent. Yeah, baby. Just pushing a car. I'll be quick. be someone else in the forest what makes you say that something the patient said he made it sound like there was someone else out there with him the ranger said she didn't see anyone i don't know maybe we should call it in just in case yeah sure thanks tommy yeah no problem dispatch this is rescue 26 over beautiful dispatch do you copy please over we may have another lost uh, hiker out here trying to get the road over. Copy that. Do you have a description of the individual? Yeah, uh, that's a negative on the description of the individual. Son of a bitch, I knew it. Ah, it I love that reaction. Ah, son of a bitch, I knew it. <laughs> that was awesome. What the hell was that? Let go of me! Tommy? I, I think there's something wrong with Tommy. You go check on him? Yeah, we finish this up. Yeah, I got it. Tom! There you go. Hey, Megan Head! Remember me, asshole? Hang on, kid! Pretty dope. Pretty dope. Love that. Listen to me. We were just attacked. My team is dead. Call the sheriff and tell him to get out of Cunningham Road now. What are you talking about? Listen, damn it. Get Rick out here now and tell him Jason is back. What the hell have you done, kid? Oh, bitch! Jesus, Murphy. Uh, uh. That scared the shit out of me, dude. Oh my god, he just fucking bolts up to the door. Ooh. 
And now he knows to go to the hospital. Son of a snippet. Get you a stretcher. Not me. The kid. What kid? I need some help here! Help us! Get him into the OR. Prep Take for surgery. Him. Holy smokes. Tommy, you can't go in no, there. No, I need to talk to him. No, you need medical attention. <sighs> Nurse Hobbs? What, what's going on? You can tell me. Clean him up. What happened? There was an accident. Make sure he lives! I'll do my best. One, two, three, go! 18 gauge, right arm, please. All right, sir, raise nice and deep. Please. Wanted to talk to him in case okay. he died to make confirmation or something. Yeah, go ahead and take that arm. <laughs> Makes me want to watch Never Hike Alone 1. He's still out there. He's still out there. He's coming. He's coming. He's still out there. He's still out there. He's still out there. Hey! What, am I the only one that comes in on time anymore? Looks like it, buddy. Hey, what are you doing in here? Oh, sorry, Chief. Just want to get this hung before you got in. Alan? Yeah, Chief? You okay? Alan, what's wrong, Chief? Hey, Rick! You're bang! <laughs> you <You're> bang. <laughs> Wherever the red dot goes. Talk to the sheriff. There's been a murder. What? Who called it in? Uh, one of the paramedics, Tommy Jarvis. Yeah, him. What did he say? He reported multiple homicides on Cunningham Road. He told me to tell you Jason is back. Bullshit. Sir, he sounded pretty serious. I'm sure he did. Well, he just wants me to drive back out there so he could take a shit on my hood. Sir, I'll, I'll drive out there, save you the trip. No, I'm not going to let him drag anybody else back into this. He'll find the bodies, though, you right? I'm sorry, Sheriff. I, I didn't mean to cause any trouble. That's okay, Kev. We're all just doing our job. Bet you 20 Jarvis shits on his hood. I'll take that bet. So, sounds like he's done it before. Walking in broad daylight just down the road with an axe. Oh boy. Like in part four. But this time there's no banana girl to get stabbed. Hello? 
Deputy Bedard. Come in, do you read? Go ahead, Sheriff. Put out an APB on Tommy Jarvis. What's the charge? Multiple homicides. I had a feeling this was where it was gonna go. Because of that one that one instance where he had that that like dream, he was thinking Tommy was gonna kill him and stuff, so he's probably thinking Tommy Jarvis is only stirring up Jason because he's lost his gosh dang mind and is going around killing people now because he wants people to believe that he is, you know, Jason's back. Which is kind of where I thought it was gonna go. Even though the kid can back him up too. Are you sure you don't want my help with that? No, I'm almost done. Um, so what kind of accident was it exactly? Look, could you just, just leave me alone for a minute, please? Okay, yeah, sorry. <clears throat> Tommy. Did you make it? He's gonna be okay. Good, okay, good. He lost a lot of blood, three cracked ribs, concussion. What worries me the most are the multiple large stab wounds. And you don't look so hot either. What the hell happened out there? Uh, I don't even know where to begin. Where are Axel and Denny? They're dead. What? How? We were attacked. By what? Jason Voorhees. That's... Impossible. He's not real. So I've been told. The thing is, he is real. I know because he killed my mother, my friends, others. Well, I, mean, I don't think the, the question is really if he's real or not. It's more of like he's long gone or supposed to be long gone, you know? And now this is all my fault. What does that mean? Oh, fuck, dude. You're not making yourself look good. I killed Jason when I was 12 years old, only he didn't die. Oh, he's making himself look like a psychopath at this point. That's not good, man. He took up this space inside of my head until I couldn't take it anymore. So I dug up his grave. I tried to destroy his corpse, but I, I fucked it all up. He used me to come back. And this town has been paying the price ever since. Fuck, man. This is crazy. I know, I know how it sounds. Look, I was at the crime scene the night Mark went missing. If she starts to back away from Jason him, Voorhees. you already know. I'm getting the sheriff. Now you do that and I promise you, you'll never get the answers you're looking for about Mark. Oh yeah? What do you know? This town has a past that no one wants to talk about. Another missing person is a lot easier to sweep under the rug than a bunch of unexplained murders. Are you saying that my son was murdered? But you knew all this time? Why are you just telling me now? Without proof, you would have never believed me. Whatever happened to that hiker could be the key. That's why I need to talk to him. But in his condition, I don't know when that will be. This can't wait. Lives are at stake. Maybe you don't need to talk to him. His camera. Clever. Clever. So you're telling me that thing's a camera? Yeah, he must have been filming something out there. There. That's everything. Show me. Check. Check one, two. Hey everyone, Kyle McLeod here checking in on another- Wait, I know this guy. Adventure. You do? Yeah, yeah, he's a YouTuber. A what? Uh, it's an internet thing. Mark used to watch his channel when we first moved here for hiking tips. So what, he films himself walking around the forest? Pretty much. Oh. People actually watch that? You'd be surprised. You would be. You really would. People watch my channel. So, I mean, anybody can get views. Here we go. can't believe it. All because of some stupid ghost story. Seeing a lot of these red ribbons around the camp. I think it's a way to mark the crime scenes. You found something, all right. I think someone was living here. A birthday prayer for you. If there's any joy that you wish for, God grant me glad in your way. If there's any blessing you want. Whoa. What just happened? Uh, go back. If there's any help you're in need, for betterment, comfort, or cheer, God grant it be sent on your birthday to stay with you year after year. Wow. That's deep. Shit. 
go go back. Right there. Oh my god. Yep. Fuck. Whoa, 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 whoa. Calm down. Calm down. It's okay. Here, let me help you. Fuck. No. Well, he's gonna be just like Tommy Jarvis now. He's gonna be just seeing shit. That's, uh, what a horrible, like, PTSD, you know. My name is Tommy, and I need your help. I don't know, man. I'm pretty fucked up here. Here, just have a look at this. Tell me what you see. Where'd you find this? It was on your camera. The question is, where did you find it? it was that the, at the camp? Yeah, I know that part. In an attic? Do you remember the building? No. No, everything's such a blur. Okay. Did you have to show me? <laughs> You're joking, right? No. Dude, look at me. I'm not going anywhere. Can this wait? No, I can't. Look, you went into his territory. You drew him out. And now, he's coming for you. I didn't mean to. And now people are dead. And there'll be more if we don't do something about it. What? I could show you where that head thing is, and then what? How does that solve anything? Look, I think you already know some of the story. Jason drowned in the lake and somehow came back the night his mother was killed. Her head is the only thing he has left of her. If we destroy it, it'll sever the connection that keeps him coming back to this world. Not a bad and theory. finally send him to hell, where he belongs. How do you know all this? I've done my research. What if you're wrong? I'm not. Oh, confident. Okay. Oh, hey, Dr. Hill. Yes. Have you seen Tommy? No, why? Karen called into dispatch to see if she could get any info about the accident last night. What did they say? Axel and Denny are dead. Oh, my God. And they're not the only ones. Who else? I don't know, but... A bunch of people died. They think Tommy did it. Seriously? Yeah, do you remember the last place you saw him? Oh, um, well, I checked on his wounds about an hour ago. I haven't seen him since. Do you think he left? Maybe. But I need to make sure. Uh, excuse me, where do you think you're going? I need to check this room. Well, I have a patient recovering from surgery in there. Is he still in there, or they just take off? Okay. Looks good to me. Let me know if you see anything, though, okay? I will. Thanks.
Something tells me Tommy's still in there. Tommy. Don't. <laughs> Tommy. The sheriff's department is looking for you. I know. So you have to explain to them what's going on. There's no explaining. I've tried. So what are you going to do? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where do you think you're going? Huh? Uh, well, he said he needed my help, so we're going back to camp. The hell you are? You get back in bed. Diana, we're running out of time. Look, if you want justice for your son, then you're gonna have to trust me. It's the only way. I can't do it without his help. Or yours. Let's all do it. The Jason extermination team, baby. If anyone sees me discharging a patient like this, I could lose my license. We just have to make sure we don't get caught. Opens the door, cops. Prison cycle! Jesus. Tommy Jarvis. I'm placing you under arrest for multiple homicides. Now put your hands in the air. Don't make me ask you again. Okay, hey, what makes you think it was Tommy? Because he was the last one to see the victims alive. Just like your son. He's lying. You never told me any of this. That was part of an ongoing investigation and I couldn't share the details. You had evidence that my son was murdered and you couldn't share the details? Uh, he yeah. The that kind of makes you look like a douchebag. Uh, no offense, but yeah, probably should have shared that information so she wasn't sitting there thinking the entire time that her son was alive. Mental torture. Kind of busy here. What is it? I got some asshole out here vandalizing cars. So what? Stop it. And stay off this line. Sir, um, he's telling the truth. Jason is real. <laughs> I don't know who you are, kid, but that can't be true. Jason doesn't exist. What the? Fulton, what's going on out there? Sorry, you told me to stay off the line. I fucking believe it! You know what this reminds me of? Jeepers Creepers. Like when they're at the police station and the lights turn out. Open fire. Holy shit. Jump your weapon. No. Um, <laughs> it's time to run, I think, guys. Just stand there and watch him, dick. <laughs> he has a gun. I would have been shooting him in the face at that point. Come on, you fucking idiot! Tommy, come on, you fucking idiot! He's real. He's fucking real. I tried to tell you, you dick. After all these years, I, I, I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. Guys, we gotta hide. Come on, come on.
We need to get out of here. No, we gotta make it back to the ambulance. We got a spare battery in the back. Yeah. How can you expect to replace a battery with that psycho walking around? Wait a second, wait a second. I have a plan. I'm gonna create a distraction. And when I do, you guys grab that battery and run like Heck hell. no. You don't know what you're- That is such a reference to the game right there. Grab that battery and you run like hell. That'd be me though in that situation. I'd be the one. Get the battery on the car. I'll be the distraction. Dealing with- I think it's the other way around. Oh, Jesus. He's gonna get us all killed. Just himself. Hey, Jason! Wherever the red dot goes, <laughs> you bang. Suck lead, fuckhead! He's like, Shit. oh boy, it's not stopping him. Follow me. Follow me. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm not afraid of you. I'm not afraid of you. You know, for not listening all these years. Go, go, Tommy, go, start the fucking car. Uh, no, 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 go the other way. Go the other way. Get out of here. Oh. Yep, yeah, you better get, better get rolling, buddy. Did he just teleport? He was at the hospital and then he walks the other way and all of a sudden he's at the camp. He's at Crystal Lake. Pretty dope. Pretty dope. That's fucking terrifying. He knew exactly where they were going to go. It's pretty good. Pretty good. You got anything for me? Dr. Hill, I need you to go into town and get help while we search the camp. That monster murdered my son. I am going with you. Look, if this doesn't work out, then I need someone, I need you to tell people what happened here. If you please trust me on this. Actually, I'm, I'm down to drive. No, you're gonna show me where the head is, remember? Shit. If I come back and you're gone, I will burn this place to the ground. Be my guest. Come on. Good luck. Is she gonna take the axe and stick around? Are we close? Oh, we gotta keep going. It's closer to the lake. Yep, the deeper into the heart, right?
It's right there. Okay. Let's go. And both of us? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know where the head is. Come on. Fucking hate this place. I know I'm not going in that house by myself. Fuck that. It's right in there. Of course he moved it. It was right there. We gotta find it. Nope. He moved it. Like the snake he is. He probably knew they were going for it. Found it. I found it. Shit. What do I do now? Drop it. Shit. Wait, wait, wait. We have to destroy that head. Fuck. Ah! No. That was one of the most badass Jason moments ever. He put the axe up towards his head just enough to block the fucking shotgun shot. I'm not sure if that would work in real life. I think the axe would have been just blown to pieces, but still pretty badass. Oh my god. Piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, baby. Uh, that was good. Clunk. See, that's the kind of humor I like in these kind of movies. You know, I love my horror movies, my slasher films to be a little serious, but dude, that, that shit. Oh, shit. Ooh. Getting anxious, man. Uh, I don't like seeing Tommy in this situation. And she's dead. Oh. In the same exact spot Tommy put it. The machete. Tommy. Oh. Is it right where you are? Help us on its way. No, you, it, you don't understand. You have to leave before. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Get out of here. Hey! Maggot dick! You looking for this? Shit, shit, shit. 
Shit's right, man. You should have uh, got a match or uh, some gasoline. You trip. With what? what? Was clever. You okay? Oh, that's gonna piss him off more than anything. Oh boy. You're on his, like, number one shit list. It's okay. It's okay. Mom's here. Mom's here. Now come on. Now come on. Machete to the head. Or she's, he's going to decapitate him, right? Ah, oh, that was so good. That was good. Good? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Is that it? Nah, eh, probably not. Now that you said that. Oh, no, Tommy. Tommy. Tommy, can you hear me? Come on, come on, come on, Glenn. Come on, Tommy, stay with me, stay with me. It's 15 past the hour. We're getting some breaking news. It was a long night for anyone unlucky enough to be a At least 12 people have been confirmed. Early this morning, but the massacre. That unidentified man went on a killing spree, totaling 12 deaths, including himself. We go live now. That's to 13. Or not, no, no, uh, 12, including Lake, himself. Paul Owens. Happened to our community over the last 24 hours. Oh my God, is that fucking a uh, Shelley? That's the actor who played Shelley from Part Three. It is an unspeakable tragedy. We have been unfairly asked to say goodbye to so many who have meant so much to this town. Including our beloved sheriff, Rick Cologne. T to the victims and their families, I offer my sincere condolences. Nothing can replace the loss of a loved one. My heart goes out to you all. I would like to thank the FBI for continuing this investigation, and I want to assure all of the Crystal Lake community that we are doing everything in our power to find out. Yep, there's your son. Nice. He actually lived through it. Good.
Hey. I thought you'd be on the road by now. I was just about to, but I want to talk to you about something first. Okay, what's up? I think it's the proof you're looking for, right? I mean, figure if anyone needs it, it'd be you. Thanks, but that's behind me now. Whatever you do with that thing, it's your call. He's gonna toss it. Good choice. So what's next for you now? More adventures in the forest? <laughs> uh, I think I've taken my last hike for a while. Probably a good idea. Yeah. Hey. Thanks for saving my life, Mega Man. No kid. Thank you. <laughs> my shoulder. Oh. oh. <laughs> Sorry. Well, I got a long drive ahead of me, and my mom's probably worried sick, so I should get going. Yeah, don't want to keep her waiting. I'll see you on the trail, Jarvis. Yeah. Kyle out. Take care, kid. Subscribe to my channel. But you know how many views that guy would have had if he actually had kept that? On that video? <laughs> Bubbles came out of him. Awesome. Well, I'm deep in the Can't remember if my name was uh Oh yep, there I there I am right there. Jordan Cartwright. There I am. Nice deal. So I was. Okay, cool deal. Alright, so that was that was Never Hike Alone too. And to all the people who uh, supported that Congratulations, that was fantastic. Uh, though everybody, you know, from Womp Stomp did a phenomenal job with that movie. It, it, I think it was a perfect continuation for Never Hike Alone. I really do. That was a lot of fun. I'm very happy I sat down and watched this. I was going to anyways. I was debating on doing a reaction, but I, I really wanted to do a reaction. So please, guys, comment down below. Let me know your guys' thoughts. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. If you want to go support them, please go support them. They are the guys who deserve all the love in the world for this. And I really hope maybe someday we get something else Friday the 13th related from these guys. I don't think I think they said this was probably the last one they were going to do for Never Hike Alone. But uh, I, would, I would love to see some other slasher film uh, brought out by these guys. So, uh, yeah, until next time, guys, keep it retro. And please do take care. Thank you.